Hey everyone, welcome back to the Model Factory. Uh, so, I'm starting to uh, feel better and able to uh, get around a little bit after uh, the surgery now. So, I figured I would uh, get up here and make a video and show you guys uh, more of the progress on the Outlaw Thunderbird. Um, so, we'll start here with this. Uh, this is a uh, compressed air bottle um, that I uh, scratch built and um, painted it to you know look like a an aluminum uh, bottle um, and did little gauges on it uh, right there with a little regulator um, and again just built that all out of uh, basically just styrene tubing um, I know in one of my previous videos I uh, had a subscriber ask if I could do a tutorial on how I make these bottles um, so I will uh, probably try to do that sometime um, and just share with you guys uh, what I do uh, to uh, make uh, these little bottles. Uh, but anyway, um, printed out a, a quarter max decal for it and uh, stuck that on there. Um, and I think it'll look pretty cool in the interior sitting, uh, you know, next to the uh, nitrous bottles and everything. Um, just add a little detail to it. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah. So that is the air bottle. Here are the completed nitrous bottles. Uh, last time I showed them to you guys, I just had them uh, painted blue. Um, so now I uh, printed out uh, labels for these ones, uh, or decals, and put those on there. Um, and then I made the nozzles and everything, and then I scratch built uh, this bracket for them. Um, and you know it's not perfect but it, I think it looks pretty good um, it looks pretty convincing uh, sitting inside of the car looks a little better than just you know sitting them in there and they kind of look freestanding um, so the bracket just adds a little more detail I uh, scratch built the bracket out of uh, just styrene and then a little bit of a metal rod that I had um, and everything so I think <laughs> I think I had to redo this top part like four or five times to finally get it to be somewhat right. Um, and like I said, it's still not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Alright, and last but not least, I did a little work on the engine. Um, just a little bit of detailing. So, what I have done is I added the oil lines um, that come from the uh, um, reservoir tank here. Uh, the oil lines, they run down to the uh, oil pump, the belt-driven oil pump, and then they go down and on into the um, oil pan underneath. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Those are all Protec uh, lines um, that you can get from them with their fittings. Um, and I know I say it all the time, guys, but they make really good stuff and so I, I definitely recommend them um, and so the the oil uh, pump the belt driven oil pump that scratch built um, the reservoir on the front there uh, that is a parts box reservoir that I found because this kit uh, didn't actually have one uh, on the motor or on the engine and so I uh, wanted to add it so I found one in the parts box and then the breather here on the side, um, that is scratch built, um, and then the uh, little uh, filter there on the top, uh, or the oil breather there on the top, that's uh, another Protec part on there. I do have bolt heads all over the front of this thing. Um, I don't think they're going to show up too well uh, in the video, um, but there is bolt heads uh, all around the front. Uh, they're just so small, it's just hard to show. Um, and then I do have the, uh, in the uh, valve covers here, I've got the uh, spark plug boots put in. I don't have the spark plug, uh, you know, wiring and everything all set up yet and distributor yet, but I do have the holes drilled and I have the boots put in there. Um, so that's ready to go. Uh, and then another really small detail um, that I'll have to do, you know, like a close-up picture of probably when I get this engine completed. Um, and I'll, I'll do another one in my series of uh, under the magnifying glass. Uh, but I had a friend that um, was working on a, a 429 engine as well. 
and he had some decals made up um, from a decal uh, maker that uh, basically are on the uh, valve covers. They're the 429 uh you know, emblem, uh, it's a Boss 429 with a little Ford symbol next to it, uh, and on the, uh, the valve covers that would be on there in blue, so he had a few spares and he sent them to me, um, and so I put them on there and they look absolutely fantastic, um, really, really cool, really convincing, uh, and everything, um, but yeah, that's the motor, guys, I'm really, uh, happy with how it's turning out, um, I had to rearrange a few things because as I was test fitting into uh, the chassis, some stuff was rubbing. Um, but that's it. That's what we got going on here. So like I always say, everybody, keep doing those awesome builds. Keep up with the good work. And eat, sleep, styrene. Stay tuned, and I'll have another video for you guys soon. Talk to you later.